Hey guys, I'm Andre from The Trading Crew and on this channel we're talking about stocks I love, stocks you love and most importantly stocks nobody should love. So actually I wanted to uh, hit two birds with one stone here and just uh, be able to explain to you guys what negative divergence means, uh, how to spot it, how to use it and why it's important as an indicator. So funnily enough, it's actually not an indicator it's more of an indication per se uh, you can get negative divergence signals from the combination of multiple at least two uh, different indicators so what i usually like to use for for this specifically is price movement uh, so simple candle reading uh, tied together with another indicator usually i use the rsi although sometimes you can see the macd being a very good use case for this as well so looking at the qqq here which obviously you guys know that uh, it's tracking the nasdaq market and if we look at the weekly chart um, i'm gonna show you guys here if you look closely uh, you can see how the price action is definitely moving higher here making higher highs higher lows every single time uh, but we can also see the fact that if we have a look down below here at the RSI and for the scope of this video, I just want to keep it short, keep it explanatory and just don't uh, overcomplicate things. So no detailing here. Uh, but if we look at the price movement and the RSI, you can notice the fact that while the price is making higher highs and higher lows, the RSI isn't doing the same thing. So uh, the RSI is actually tapering off here on a couple of these instances. Uh, again, this means usually this is a, a, a bearish sign. This is called a bearish uh, negative divergence. So whenever this happens, what exactly should you do? Should you, do? Should you just go ahead and uh, sell all of your stocks as if uh, doomsday is coming? No, not really, but you should be aware of it. Um, obviously, what does this mean for NASDAQ in particular? Potentially, it means that we're either going to go into a period of consolidation where the stock is just going to continue moving in between certain ranges rather than continuing to move higher um, and making higher highs, or we might be looking at going into a bearish market. We don't have a crystal ball, so we have zero actual uh, clue on what's going to happen here. So obviously, uh, do what you guys think, uh, do your due diligence, hedge if you want to hedge, uh, use options to, to be able to hedge your portfolio and just uh, be able to, to, to have your, your uh, portfolio not go as low as the market does in case of a market correction. But I just wanted to make you guys aware of the fact that um, we have this on the weekly chart. Now, obviously you can spot negative divergence across all of the different time spans here. You can look at four hours, you can look at daily, you can look at weekly. The, the more it happens or the, the clearer the sign and the bigger the, bigger the uh, time span, the worse possible uh, and longer term possible uh, repercussions. So obviously if it's a weekly type thing and it's already been happening now for uh, what looks like the, the better part of the last uh, eight months, um, the, the, the higher likelihood that it is going to happen at a certain point, uh, either again bearish or just uh, trading within a certain range without really having a clear uh, move to higher or lower ground. Um, again, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's great for the markets to, to restabilize, especially after a 2020 that was as powerful as we've all known it to be. Um, so I just wanted to make you guys aware. I wanted to, to show you what negative divergence is, how to use it, and obviously uh, just put out a warning sign out there so you know that uh, the NASDAQ market is potentially looking at not necessarily making higher highs uh, uh, as frequent as it has been doing. Basically, what it means is that it's still accelerating, but uh, the acceleration isn't as powerful anymore. Uh, paired together with the fact that we're seeing pretty good volume whenever we are making those higher highs, the negative divergence on the RSI is especially telling. So 
that pretty much wraps it up guys uh if you got anything out of the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and um, i'll be around with more content uh pretty much there take care have a good one